Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Stock Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8, in which I really want to just get through the tech tree at this point. Um, that will take quite a lot of science, as you can see. We need 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Oh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of those. So, what's that? 9, uh, 4,950 plus 3,000, oh, sorry, 4,000. So that's 8,950. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so that's uh, 10,150 science altogether that we need. That seems like a lot of science. Now, we could miss a lot of that. <laughs> um, yeah, we could miss quite a lot of that. There are options. We have contracts to explore Ike. That's Dock 2 vessels again. Um, we have to recover this component from Orbit of Kerbin. And that's because I was trying to make a space plane last time. We will we will put that mission on ice for now. Though, four-year deadline can go past real quickly when we're time warping through transfers. So we'll have to watch out for that. We also have to put a satellite in the tundra orbit of Jewel. Let's take a look at our orientation with respect to the planets. Mm, the next trans window that's gonna come up, uh, barring Moho. Should we bar Moho? Maybe we shouldn't bar Moho. Hmm. We have not been to Moho so far. Nor are they asking us to go to Moho. Uh, this is about... Uh, maybe a little bit further along would be the Moho trans window. It's 108 degrees. But Moho is a pain in the rear end. Then again, we have a nuclear engine. We have the Nerva. We have not used Nerva. This splashdown in Kerbin? Well, let's recover that. It should be a probe, I guess. That's gonna tip over, isn't it? Let's go with the smaller one and put some baguettes on the side or something. They'll mostly be landing on the baguettes. As is my way. So, that's got 3,000 meters per second on its own. Round battery? Mmm, I like these better. Uh, they, they sort of... round out the contours. Because we go from this form factor here to that form factor here. They, they're still like a transition. We will still need solar panels on this because it's meant to be... Oh, well, I need a controller on this too. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense having these solar panels there and the radiators there, but I guess that they can be in that angle, yeah. You think this won't have enough thrust to weight ratio? It's got 0.81, I think that should be okay. Unless Moho is a heck of a lot more... A lot, heck of a lot heavier than I thought it was. Now maybe we can just SSTO this, what's the... Yeah, it should be capable. Okay. Space tub! Anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll need to expand this. We haven't unlocked larger... I don't think we've unlocked larger uh, bearings. That is the space tub. It is a reusable launch vehicle. Hopefully. <laughs> Though I think I should put more parachutes. Use the adapter? No, this is fine. This is totally okay. As long as we use confetti fairings, it's okay. I feel like I should put more parachutes on the space tub though. Okay. Moho Explorer. Let's not mince words here. Do I have launch clamps? I don't think I need launch clamps for this one. Anyway, we need to time warp a little bit to get to the Moho window. So I'm just eyeballing it, and it's 108 degrees to Moho. Oh, it's gonna go fast. Oh, the, the Moho window's not the next one. Right, it goes faster. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to wait. Let's see which one is next. 
Moho might be so fast that it ends up being the next one. We do, uh, do we, we, let me take a look at our existing missions to make sure we don't miss anything. There's a muon. That's two years. Should be okay. Um, we need the ablator for this. This that's for this coming back down, and it's got uh, underfuel because it's got these tanks clipping in. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, and launch. It doesn't look like it's likely to flip, does it? <laughs> uh, let's make sure we dump the fairings while we're still down here. Okay, that's fine. Alright, separation. And that's what our space probe look like, looks like. Very, very spacey. Alright. Um, let's bring this down first though, because it's got limited electric charge. We'll land somewhere around the KS- well, maybe not. Some we'll land somewhere, it'll be fine. Eh, it's likely to lose communication when it's uh, at a low altitude. The controller, by the way, is tucked in here with the batteries and a reaction wheel and a single small heat shield. The engines have enough heat protection from this altitude. I don't trust physical time warp when there's heating, or at least not much of it. Let's go to 2x. As you can see, we're very much on the edge of overheating. I wouldn't recommend trying this coming from a uh, higher altitude. Okay, it's... Uh, for some reason, it's off of retrograde. Why? I told you to hold retrograde. And this is symmetrical, so I don't understand why it's off of it retrograde at all. Maybe it's still ho holding. No, I mean it's in communication. It should be holding retrograde. I'm not pleased by this controller. We'll be splashing down off the west coast. Much parachute. Okay, we got almost 90% back. I think we should just do maybe a little bit of an inclination adjustment will do. We can do that here. Oh, there's, a, there's an approach. I've got farming sim 17. In fact, actually, farming sim, this is the legend of how I got into Kerbal. Um, farming sim was how I got into Kerbal. I was looking for um, tutorials on farming sim, I think it was 13, if I recall correctly. And the person who made the tutorial that I liked for farming sim that told me how to do farming sim things happen to also do Kerbal. I don't remember who it was anymore. My first... Well, I, I used to have like Jet Fighter in like 1990 and then Fly of the Intruder on... The, these were all on uh, 3.5 inch discs. And then uh, Flight Sim 4. Maybe X-Plane 11 gave them, because for the longest time X-Plane wasn't really a very good competitor to uh, Flight Sim. And Flight Sim 10 was the best deal. Yeah, they are. There's a new, it doesn't have a number, it's just called Flight Sim. I guess we'll call it Flight Sim 2020. But yeah, there's gotta be a new one next year. So, they'll have pretty good scenery. I'm just worried about my bandwidth with it. Because, like, if it's gonna be using the internet to download scenery all the time, and I like to make long sightseeing flights where I'm going fast and low, right? So I'm going to be downloading a whole lot of scenery for large swaths of the world. It's going to be a little bit rough. <laughs> yeah, but what I really want to do is really learn how to make planes for flight sims. Though I can't make it to the quality that they're at right now. The interiors are really tough. The exteriors are not too bad to do. 
Building the plane model itself is not hard. Build it, making the interiors is a pain in the rear end. Well, this happens to be a really nice transfer window to Moho. There are much worse transfer windows. Whenever the ascending or descending node is not near Kerbin, that's a bad transfer window. This one, the ascending node was near Kerbin. So, this is a good transfer window. Well, we're way past the burn time anyway. Let's just do this part first. 10. That's better than the plot was showing me. Hey, we've got, even got an encounter. Being late was good this time. We still need a pack where we start on Mars, darn it. That would solve so many problems. Real solar system, but you start on Mars. Uh, for those who don't know why, it's because the Delta V to get off of Mars is about the same as the Delta V to get off of Kerbin. Okay, I think 500 is getting to be pretty good. We can adjust the rest. Well, it, we, we're going pretty fast though. I don't think Moho's gravity is that great. I don't know, maybe we should... Well, we'll do a mid-course adjustment. Um, how long till we get there? 120? We can follow this. It's fine. Okay. Eh, not the best angle to the sun, but it should be okay too. It occurs to me that the probe itself does not have enough power to transmit the gravioli data. I did need... I... Yeah, I did need six batteries, not four on there. Oh yeah, I guess I could. Uh, you mean send on, send partial? Well, we'll do that after we separate. If we need to. That's a lot of Delta V. I guess we should have restarted the burn. This is Moho, yeah. Can't you tell by the huge burn we're trying to do to get into orbit? Nothing takes a burn like this except for Moho. Moho is a pain in the rear end. I don't know about scary, but it's a pain in the rear end. It takes a lot of Delta V in time. Mega transfer unit? I don't make mega transfer units. I make the just right transfer units. My love of, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, flight sims earlier. When I got into flight sim was mainly because of my uncle plus uh, my first ever flight. My first ever flight was across the Pacific from Hong Kong to San Francisco. It's a 13 hour flight. It was on a 747. I was seven years old. That was, and it was in 1990. First time I ever flew. Um, and probably the most fascinating thing about it was I took off on July 1st, noon, and landed on July 1st, 9 a.m. And since then, I have not had any question about whether the world was round. Moho's Highlands. Okay, transmit. Well, I'm not gonna try and do hit or miss with all the biomes here, so... I think it's mostly Midlands or Highlands here. I don't know if anybody knows if there's any good biome to hit like this. This crater we seem to be missing completely. Okay, I guess we can just stage directly. In sync with the music, almost. Times. Gotta be careful. I've smashed myself into Moho because I didn't respect how much gravity it had before. Everything revolves around the moon. Artemis fan over here. Yeah, they were seafaring. The Polynesians must have had a heck of a idea of things. Because they were super seafaring. Yeah, they would have had to have been good at astronomy. The navigation that is required to do their thing would have been not necessary. We definitely can hop to somewhere.
Well, I'll transmit what we can transmit. The gravioli will be too much, but I don't think we can do it from the surface. Oh, we can do it from the surface. Okay, let's see about that transmit partial. Um, I guess it's on... I hate how the they need to, to have a state information here. I guess it is allowing partial now. We'll try it. Okay, it says done. Log seismic data. We'll wait. I mean, yep. Unity physics is unity physics. You work with what you've got. Mm, I, I mean, over here must not must be away from the minor craters, right? This is all minor crater stuff, right? I can't see the information anymore. Okay, so we just have to get out of the crater. So we have a number of options after I finish with Kerbal today. I did download Hellblade. I've got that Xbox Game Pass thing. The monthly thing, and it had Hellblade in it. It also has Metro Exodus, but I haven't installed that yet, but I intend to play that. Yeah, Highlands here. It's sort of a horror game, yeah. Which I'm not, I don't play horror games very much. Not many people are watching the Solaris video. Maybe I should just do that on stream. Uh, but, but I'll finish the other stuff first. Uh, I'll finish the other stuff first. No Man's Sky is something I should do again. <laughs> Been a long time. But let me, I should actually finish the game first. So maybe deliver us to the moon then. Well, this is knocking into Moho orbit again, I don't think. So we've got 1,773 meters per second. And I don't think that's enough to get back to Kerbin safely. We took 2,000 to get here. We'll have to send some more fuel if we want to refuel this thing. Moho exists. Well, we don't have communication with this right now, but that's just because of we're on the opposite side of Moho, I think. Alright, let's go back to the KSC and see what we can do next to get more science. Alright, so what would be most logical to unlock now with our science? I don't think rovers are good. Uh, we, we, uh, we want things that will get us more science. I think maybe going unmanned tech and then ions would be a thing. Hmm. There's RTGs. But we don't have a thousand signs for that. They sure do hang on to the RTGs for a long time considering those were available you know, fairly early on. Certainly earlier than the rapiers were. But we don't even have rapiers in real life yet. Such. We have the shuttle. We don't have the shuttle parts. Okay, you guys have a choice. Either we're going to do shuttle things, or we're going to do ion things. I'm going to give you the choice. Yes, yes, I want to put it up to chat. I have an idea with the shuttle. It's funny this one requires all suddenly. Okay, I think I get the gist of things. All right. Well, if we're gonna have an ion probe, it's gonna have to be reusable, because they're expensive. So where we are now, we could transfer to Jewel soon. Uh, Dr uh, Duna is also pretty soon too. Let's keep an eye on that one mission, one year and 300 days. Okay. So... 
what kind of a thing are we sending? <laughs> um, can can a probe with an ion engine actually land on the surface of something? Um, let's see how much power. But the problem is, Jewel, we need RTGs because solar panels aren't going to give us enough. It needs, let's say, nine. And we got the big solar panels now, but they'll only produce 1 25th what they do by default, so that's only one per second each. Mo will be easy with them, that's no problem. So how does one ion? Let us see. We want to reuse it. This way we can bring it back. We'll probably have all that. This will be our return stage from Jewel. Okay, so let's say it's just these guys. They have 375, and then this has 2,000 on it. But obviously no solar panels, because those... Those we are going to provide on the trunk. Okay, how much does it have now? Mercury style airbag, yes. If these dumplings were smaller, we could have those too, but... But there's a catch. We'll need to keep the trunk with the solar panels when we do this burn. So... Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna have this kind of delta V. It's gotta be in this order, actually. And actually, more precisely, whatever we've got here will be hanging on to. Hmm. Nothing makes this situation any better. Unless we do a really, really, really long burn with the Xenon. We need big solar panels. Or maybe we're not going to jewel with this. Hmm. We have this plan to flag on Lath contract, though. New orbital uh, station around Kerbin. No, that's not giving us... Bring Val Ice Chunk back. Val. Val Ice Chunk. Hmm. We should pick that up. Plan to flag on Lath. You guys want to see that, don't you? Gather surface deployed mystery goo observation science from the surface of Val. Well, we're, we're gonna do Val anyway. I think we're doing Val. Plan a flag on Leif sounds bad. Okay. I mean, if we... if they roll... That's not good. 2.8 per second. This requires 8, which in Joule means if we want full power, 200. So if we provide, this looks like we can really do about 100, maybe, with four of those. So maybe 50% we'll get out of it. If we make a larger body. That's like barely acceptable. Ah, uh, will that be enough to land on Val? And take off again? I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. And then coming back, this all seems very tight. I mean, eventually this will be out of fuel. But that still leaves this with only 723 because it's carrying all this bunch. Why did the AI guys have to make me unlock the ion engines? <laughs> uh, I frankly, I've, whole, I've got a whole series on YouTube where I use ion engines. They're even worse than this one. I'm gonna scrap this idea. This is not a good idea. I'm just wondering whether this will connect right or not. I think I have to... Oh, I will. Okay, good. I was wondering whether I had to replace the legs. 
Okay, we at least need goo. Probably need ladder. Uh, it needs eight. If we use it as a transfer stage just around Kerbin. We won't need full power from all of them, I don't think. But we can we can work a little bit on it. It depends on the orientation of the sun. If the sun is behind us, it will. Fuel cells. Huh. I didn't even think about fuel cells, because normally they're for missions that only last two weeks. But not in stock, it's true. This seems like a horrible idea. Crude pod towards Jewel, that's right. Go. That's the idea, this is the transfer stage. Maybe for Moho, but that's about it, really. Ion engines in real life are done. Ion engines in Kerbal are not. We may need to improve upon our lifter, though. I mean, it's like, if we put two bobcats on each, it'd be actually be cheaper than the skippers. Still not enough Delta V. But we can get off the ground. Yep, yeah, it's very, very Soviet nozzle situation. Hmm, maybe we should have more Soviet tankage. Oh, I don't need those SRB things. That's worse on the Delta V. These tanks are horrible. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, okay, I don't care. I don't like these anymore. <laughs> See, there's 3,557 with good thrust weight ratio. And then C level, 3,323. These are half full because we're clipping them in. And we'll just add another, uh, we'll replace this tank with a bigger tank. Now why does that change to Delta V? I, I mean, it's still eventually gonna suck from this tank. Weird. Fuel priority should not, you know, prevent it from flowing altogether. That's weird. Well, we'll just leave it be for now. I want the fuel to eventually get down here, but apparently changing a fuel priority messes up the Delta V reading. Maybe I can just increase these. Nope, that messes it up too. They all have to be at the same fuel priority, apparently. Okay. Well, anyway, let's see. Mm, I, I need some more fuel. Nice salute to the Saturn V. Sort of. Sort of. As good as we're going to get it. <laughs> For now. Okay, who's our victim gonna be? Um, oh, it, it turned a question mark into an underscore. You know what? We'll take the question mark off for you. I don't know why it has a docking port on top now, because it doesn't dock to anything, but you never know. A rescue mission might take advantage of that. Rich Hat. Well, he volunteered and is one of our only two pilots, so... Rich chat it is. Okay, any objections to this as our Val Lander? Antennae. No, we're not going to be communicating. Either, uh, either Rich Hat comes back or we're not getting the science. We got the goo containers, right? Yeah. Mystery Go Observations. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's 50%, but okay. And then we need a vile ice chunk. Here we go. Launch. That's a Tom Cruise face, if you say so. Top Gun Kerman. You're making me want to do F-14 things. I know, but literally no simulator I have has an F-111. 
They just don't F111. I don't know why. I got Panavia Tornado, but no F111. Oh, that'll have to be good enough. Alright. Alas, no. Apparently not. Oh god, that solar panel's in the way of the ladder. Ugh. I should have put the solar panels in line with the the legs, that would have been fine. I don't I don't like the F-35's cockpit. Uh, I should have gotten rid of the nose cone earlier. Now it's like going off to the moon at that velocity. I prefer more analog cockpits myself. It's all screens in there. I even like the older shuttle cockpit. I just wanted to get into a nice circular orbit to, for testing purposes. You either have one of those. Why doesn't it just hold retrograde even when it's not got comms? Is it so much to ask? I told it to appoint retrograde, and that's the last thing I told it to do. It's gonna lose its parachutes like this. Plasma is all well and good, but it should just obey the previous command, not just decide to not do anything. This is an odd orientation for it to decide on. Yeah, it's got a lot of drag. Got that going for it. Air brakes? I have them, but... I would have to have comms to deploy them, or use them, really. So... Anyway, it's holding up better than I thought it would. The parachutes are unperturbed, oddly. By the time they open, it'll flip the right way around. And we're pretty close to the KSC, too. It can come in this way, too. We're actually pretty darn close. Well, it's a total crapshoot. It's not like I planned it to be this close. It's covering the controller and the reaction wheel. The controller and the reaction are at the bottom there. Nicely, snugly tucked in. There's a little bit of fuel left, but we'll see how it does without that. Can it balance? Well, the ground is shaking, but it's solid. Recover! Screw those fancy legs and everything. <laughs> If you gotta play stock, play stock, honestly. If you want fancy legs, just mod the darn thing. Once again, thankful that we don't have to deal with supplies. I think we'll have to do a mid-course adjustment. We are pretty close to the descending node, though. Anyway, we'll do the burn. Good thing we have a uh, experienced carbonate like Rich Hat. And ignition. Well, we're trying to get to Val. No, whatever, that'll be good. Okay, so let me just make sure that's not going to interfere with anything. We'll do the mid-course adjustment. Okay, looks like we have Jeb and Lola coming back. 
<laughs> I guess I should pay more attention to this, huh? Alright, well, we'll have to keep that in mind. Why do we even have two Kerbals in one place? So, we do this burn, we get Lola and Jeb back, and then we handle this capture. Okay... So I think this will just go ahead and capture manually, shouldn't take too much. We're not aimed at Tylo or anything, and we still got some Delta V. I wonder if we can bring it all the way down to Val level. Yeah, well... We should get some help with that. We'll see when we get there instead. I'll make a maneuver there. Okay. Let us focus on Jeb and Loba. We got an accidental moon encounter. Well, I guess that's okay. What's our resulting periapsis? It's probably okay too. Well, maybe after the moon we'll adjust. We've got enough. We're at 5,000 meters per second already. This is gonna be hot. Got all the ablator, but I'm a bit worried still. We've also got three parachutes. We gotta burn off the remaining fuel in this just for the heck of it. Send one bunch to Jewel, one bunch back. It's the circle of life. Uh, I've got some 40 to 50 debris bits. I'm keeping the debris just to see how much the system can take. Here in KSP in 1.8. Hey, there's the KSC right there, isn't it? I think. Or maybe no, maybe not. No, I wouldn't have that little strip of line. Okay, we need to dump this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Uh, uh, go! Go retro! Go retro! Ah! What have I done? I was so distracted. <sighs> I need coffee. I'll be right back. I am back. In my despair, I have consumed entirely too much chocolate frosting. I had a jar of it in the fridge. It should be a lesson to you. Do not open the chocolate frosting unless you're going to put it on a cake. Yes, Leo return is more, it's faster. Mm. But this was, there's, there's not much atmosphere. Like, Leo Return, you would do at 70 kilometers. There isn't even an atmosphere at 70 kilometers around Kerbin. Hmm. I also accidentally put way too much amaretto in my coffee. Anyway. We have lost Jeb and Lola. I blame chat. I was looking at chat. Yep. I should have decoupled the service module far earlier. No, Mr. Doobie. I just underutilized the chocolate frosting. <sighs> there wasn't even a KSC. I don't know what I was looking at. But anyway. Where are we? I guess... I don't know. It's focused on this area. Was there supposed to be the KSC here? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no save. Only death. Back to Space Center. 
Well, let's make sure our current dual mission gets there. There is no save. There was never a save. I do not F5. We do not go back. Jev and Lola will live in our hearts. Or somebody else's save. <laughs> or another save somewhere. Mis mistakes have been made. We could probably use a few pilots. <laughs> Rich Hat is one of our pilots going out to Jewel. We've got one more pilot still at home. That's it. We might have one other deployed somewhere. Well, Val must be somewhere. Okay, can we manage some sort of Tylo thingy? No, not if we want to be going the right way. Apparently. How about Lath? Uh, it's sure not capturing. Oh wait, there we go. That's a heck of an inclination though. Oh, that's crashing too. Let's not crash into Leif this time. Okay, that's not crashing into Leif and also has a dual periapsis. Alright. Hmm, I thought we were gonna get... Okay, maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, bonus leaf encounter, fine. That's safe. All right, we'll do this. I think at this point we all have to feel a little bit on ease approaching anything with an atmosphere. Well, um, I think we've probably done the science around here, but maybe not the gravioli. Well, no, we've done the Gravioli more or less too. I guess I can keep it in EVA. Okay, well, we don't want that encounter. That actually boosts our orbit up. We don't need that. All we want is on this side to boost it up to Val. We don't want an oblique encounter like that. We're gonna do that, and then we're going to... That should be fine, and then... Here... Yeah, that's probably not necessary. Okay. Let's do this. Um... Okay, there we go. And we will make orbit. We will have to see where we actually, which biomes we actually pick up that uh, ice rock or whatever that we have to pick up. But that will be another day. I don't think we can get Rich Hat back that easily. I think we might be short. Surface velocity is much higher than the moon. Okay, off. Off. Okay, yep. We'll have to keep this for next time. Cliffhanger. I wish I had lifted an earlier cliffhanger, personally. That would have been better. <laughs>